Pain is there to serve you in a myriad of ways, a multitude, infinite, in fact. But it's there for your benefit. It is there to serve you. One of the ways, predominantly, that it serves you is by increasing your appreciation for pleasure. Anxiety increases your appreciation for and understanding of peace. Grief increases your appreciation, comprehension, awareness of, and enhances, expands your experience, your capacity to feel joy. Always. But in order for that to take place, you have to let yourself feel it. It's an equal and opposite reaction. It is present everywhere <laughs> throughout science. The same rules apply. For every experience, there is an equal and opposite experience taking place. The deeper you go into grief, the more you expand joy. The more allowance you have, the more willing you are to feel some pain, to feel the contrast, feel the tension, the resistance, the friction, to feel anxiety, discomfort. And I mean feel it, acknowledge it, witness it, allow it to be, not try to run from it, not try to change it, not try to avoid it, say that it shouldn't be there or it shouldn't be this way. I mean letting yourself feel it letting it exist, inviting it in fully, being present with it. The more you do that, the more you expand your understanding and experience of the opposite. It happens in that moment. And invite that part into your experience as well. But it's a practice. There's a balance, right? Because you're not trying to change pain into pleasure. You're letting pain serve pleasure. There is a subtle and important difference. And it is a constant practice. And it is something that I am constantly and continuously and will forever be discovering new levels of. <laughs> That's the most brilliant thing. It is continuous. It is a never-ending journey. And it's always a little bit different. It's always playing it by ear. It's always inviting that moment, which is wholly unique. Never before has existed, never again will exist like this. That moment to manifest as it is, fully. If there is anxiety in it, let there be anxiety. Anxiety, welcome to the table. Welcome to the show. What would you like to say? I'm fucking anxious. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. You are anxiety. So maybe tell us a little bit more about that. It doesn't feel good. It feels anxious. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. That's all right. Well, you're welcome here. I want to feel happy, but I feel anxious. Yes. Okay. You deserve to feel happy. But also being anxious, okay, that's allowed too. That's not bad. You're not doing anything wrong. I'm not. Anxiety tweaks just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong by being anxious, by feeling this way, even though it doesn't feel good. No, it's totally fine. It's allowed. You're not wrong. You're allowed to be here, and you're allowed to be anxious. Okay. Well, I'd like to be happy. Yeah, and you get to be. You deserve to be, but you gotta be you. Let yourself be you. Here's a thing for you to know, anxiety. By the knowing of yourself, you are increasing your clarity of peace. Do you see that? Oh. I am. In this moment, feeling anxiety, I, in this moment, have a better understanding of what peace is. 
now I get it more. I know more about peace. I appreciate it more because of this moment of anxiety, this feeling that I am feeling. I appreciate peace and I see it a little more clearly. I feel it a little more clearly, more deeply, more profoundly. And actually, I'm feeling that right now as I'm contemplating this, even though I'm anxiety. I am anxiety increasing peace. That's pretty cool. And it's happening in a way that never goes back. I know I have added to this. It can't be subtracted from. Forevermore, I will have a deeper appreciation of peace because of my anxiety, because of being, feeling anxious in this moment. And I can appreciate that. That's cool. I like peace. I like feeling peace to feel it more deeply, to feel more peaceful, more pleasure from that experience. I like that. That's something I'm grateful for. And so I guess actually I'm grateful for this because without this, I wouldn't have that. So I'm grateful for feeling the anxiety right now and going all the way through with it. And I see now it's always served me no matter what. I just wasn't looking at it. I wasn't looking at the part that served me, but it didn't go away because I didn't look at it. It was always there. Anxiety has always increased my peace, but because I wasn't looking at the anxiety and really feeling it and understanding how it worked, I wasn't really letting myself receive the benefit of it either. I didn't really let myself appreciate peace because I didn't appreciate anxiety. I didn't let either one happen. I couldn't let the peace happen in a bigger way because I didn't let the anxiety happen in a bigger way. Huh. So if I want to feel more peaceful, I just let myself feel the anxiety when it happens. And I just don't push it away. I just let it be what it is and know actually that it's serving me. It's increasing my understanding of my capacity for my appreciation of and enhancing my experience forevermore of peace. Now I know better what peace is and I'll never forget. I can only ever know it more <laughs> because of my willingness to feel pain. I appreciate pleasure. Oh, oh, big time. Do I appreciate pleasure? I love me some pleasure. Pain serves my pleasure. I ain't afraid of no pain. Bring it on. It's only going to add to my experience of the opposite. Add to my joy. It only expands my being and my satisfaction in experiencing it. Just something to contemplate. All emotion is here to serve us. And it's something I am practicing. And again, continuously we'll find deeper layers of. It is always a practice. It's an art, not a science. There are scientific principles applied, but even science is a lot more ooey gooey than any of those folks would like to admit. There is no hard science. It's only hard because you're knocking against it. It's like a, what is it? Newtonian fluid substance. It's like oobleck. It appears hard because you're applying pressure to it. The second you stop applying pressure, it releases. It becomes a fluid, it changes states. It's not the same thing. The results of science are determined by your observation, by what you're expecting to see. Nothing real scientific about it, honestly. But the laws of nature, the laws that we didn't make up, the laws that are just there, always apply. And the fundamental principles 
of that thermodynamics basic physical property principles. Those apply energetically. So let yourself take the bounce. Let yourself contract so that you can expand. That's how it works. There's nothing going wrong there. Just let it happen and know you're benefiting. And in the moment you know you're benefiting, you receive the benefit. <laughs> you see it, you experience it, you feel it. And it all clicks. You go, oh, this is how it works. I just flow with the emotion and all of it takes care of itself and all of it takes care of me. It's all to my benefit. I can't get it wrong. Even when I'm not participating, I'm not getting it wrong. I'm just not really allowing myself to engage, to receive the benefit in a visceral way. And really that's what feels good, is me knowing, is me participating, is me with my own hands in my own clay. That's where the good feeling comes from. That's what I want, is to be an active participant in the expansion of my own consciousness, feeling the flow of my own energy and flowing deliberately with it. That's what feels good. And that is something I can continue to practice and practice and practice forevermore. So the good feeling never ends. It's always there to be found and increased and expanded upon. Have a beautiful day.